O Loren came to Middle Earth as Gandalf the Grey, and near the end of the Third Age, he evolved into Gandalf the White, a wizard so powerful and so iconic. He is an inspiration to us all. In this video, we're going to cover the transformation from Gandalf the Grey to Gandalf the White, but not only that, we're going to cover who brought him back and why he was brought back to life. The Astari came to alert around the year 1000 of the Third Age. It is believed in later writings of J.R.R. Tolkien that the two blue wizards came around the year 1600 of the Second Age. The wizard's mission was there to help and inspire the men and elves to do good and help them whenever Sauron should return. They were there in Middle-earth to inspire and encourage the free people of Middle-earth, not to dominate them. That is why they came as old men, with restricted powers. Gandalf was the only wizard who stayed true to the mission to aid the free people of Middle-earth and help them defeat Sauron. He did everything in his power to help others and to do good. That is why he sacrificed himself at the bridge of Khazad Doom. Here he fell into the abyss with the Balrog of Morgoth. There he followed the Balrog from the lowest point of the world back to the top of Seraxigil, above the realm of Moria. There they fought greatly and from afar it looked like thunder coming from the mountains. Then eventually the Balrog was defeated, but so was Gandalf. Gandalf was dead, but his spirit returned to the halls of Mandos. There Eru Iluvatar stepped in to meddle in middle -earth for the second time. Gandalf was the only Istari who held through to the mission, who was selfless and would do everything to help others. Just like I mentioned earlier with the Balrog of Morgoth. You shall not pass! Eru sent him back to Melurth once again as Gandalf, but this time he had the power to show more of his inner Maiar's strength, and he knew exactly what to do next. He came back to Middle-earth as... Saruman. Rather Saruman as he should have been. It was Gwaihir the Windlord, one of the greatest eagles of Middle-earth, who brought him from the top of Seraxigil back to Lothlorien, where he was cloaked and he got a brand new staff from the Lady Galadriel. Gandalf already had a lot of powers before the battle with the Balrog. A lot of these tricks were inspired by fire and this could be because he wore the ring of fire that was given by Kirtan when he entered Middle-earth, but that we are not sure. He used fire to create flaming projectiles from pine cones to attack the goblins and the wolves during the quest for Erebor. He even used fire when the Fellowship was attacked by walks when they were passing through Holland. And last but not least, he used fire to create these amazing fireworks, just like on Bilbo's birthday party. <laughs> he could create light even in the darkest places. This was shown in the mines of Moria. Mere Behold, the great realm and dwarf city of Dwarodel. But this feature was greatly enhanced when he used it again at the Battle of the Pelennor Fields. There he shone a bright light to hinder the Nazgul and help the men of Gondor escape. With his most powerful ability was his voice, and that was greatly changed as well. He used his voice to inspire the people to bring hope, to bring encouragement, he even used his voice to bring King Theoden back from despair. He also used his voice to battle Sauron. When Frodo was located on Amon Hen and wore the One Ring, Sauron tried to locate Frodo, but it was Gandalf who said to Frodo, TAKE OFF THE RING! And not only that, but he even used his own voice to break the staff of Saruman. Gandalf joined the Fellowship, the quest to destroy the One Ring. The quest to bring the ring to the cracks of doom. And during this time, Sauron made a huge mistake. This mistake was so big that it could change the outcome of the world. 
And if you want to know more about this big mistake that Sauron made, then this video is the one you need to watch next.